What's up, Internet? Corey Zamir here. We're garage sailing. This is the weekend adventure in video game hunting. That last sale, um, while they had games, he was really procrastinating about taking them out, so he wasted quite a bit of our time. Uh, we're not going to be going back there. It's a stop sign. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> and we're heading to some other... Oh, that was supposed to be a left, too. Fuck off! <laughs> Come on! I'm this sorry. is not good. You I'm wanna sorry. Go over the bridge again? No, I don't want to go uh -oh. over the bridge again. Let's hope we have some luck in a different town because we're getting the fuck out of Middletown. Action replay, I guess. These wires. This is the yeah. I don't know if I have batteries in it, but test it. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know if I recorded at that sale. I might have, yeah, I might have recorded. I think I recorded. But that's the reason why you can't actually, and this is a this is a good tip. I feel it's a good tip, especially based on this experience. This is why you can't abide by no early birds. I understand that it would be nice to. I mean, it's the chivalrous thing or whatever, or whatever. But... The sale starts at 8.30, they list no early birds, it's 8.24 right now, and the games have already gone. So fuck your no early birds right in the ass. How much for the Game Boy? I wanted 10, here's what happened. I put new batteries in it. The red light came on. Now it won't come on. So if you want to take a chance on it, I don't know if you could fit, I don't know if you could play with it. I don't know if it's dead. I did put new batteries and it, the red light went on. The right. game went on and then it didn't, now it won't go. Huh. You want to take a chance? Ray Fox. Shake five for it? Do I get to keep you want the game too? That's the game. Go Jackson. Yeah, you can have the game too. How about seven bucks? As is though, don't bring it's not coming back. How about five and you keep the game? So I don't care about this ball. Yeah. Oof, come off. It's weird. It comes with the thing. How about seven? With the case, everything. Um most I'll do is five on it. I think I keep the game. Work. Okay. You want this? Uh sure. Okay. Sh -sh 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 shovelware. Okay. Do you know if you have any video games? Uh, no. We the last tag sale we had, that everyone took them. Okay. Thank you. Time today is learning that apparently everybody's last tag sale was fucking awesome. Because everything happened to go at their last tag sale for like the fifth time today. Luckily, someone posted in my local retro gamer group that they were having a tag sale. Now, I understand I'm not going to get garage sale prices or flea market prices because he is a collector. He knows what they're worth. But... I did get some really bro prices. Let's take a look at what he has. There's a lot here, a lot that I could have looked into getting, but I wanted the most to get stuff I wanted for my collection. It's always it always feels kind of weird to me to be looking for recoupers from other people that are collectors. If you understand what I'm saying, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And this is my maybe pile. I 
I decided to pick up this silver game just because it looks kind of like Diablo. And that's always interesting to me. Low key, best game on the table, so we couldn't tear Chris right over there. I was trying to talk someone else that was at the uh, garage sale into picking it up, but they couldn't agree on a price. Casual Conquer's bad for a day, you know. Now we're over at a different sale, and spoilers, I fuck up and buy all these magic cards. I, I, I don't know why I fell for it. I used to do the same thing at my sales back when I didn't sell video games that much. When we would have our tag sales, I'd be getting rid of my old magic cards, but they would be picked through. There'd be nothing in there that was worth it, because I knew what the rares were. I knew what the expensive cards were, and this guy obviously did too. Uh, I ended up picking up that Dark Souls 2 game and all the magic cards here for $10, so it wasn't the worst deal, but I'm probably going to end up giving these magic cards away to Sam's son, so lesson learned. One of my all-time favorite recoupers and a very curious Asteroids manual. No video games, though. I had already spotted these two copies of Black Ops on the Xbox 360 and looked them up. I was planning on picking them up, but they're both all the way jacked up. That one you saw has cracks through it. This one is scratched to all hell, and the guy still wanted to sell them to me for five dollars each. What the fuck? Legit, the only games they had here were those Xbox 360 Black Ops, but they're all jacked up. Here's something I haven't done in a bit. GameStop hunting! Let's see how this turns out. Now, I understand that Cubic Ninjas dropped in price significantly from what it used to be. I believe it used to be an $80 game. It's now around $40. But with GameStop selling it at uh, $26... There's still some room to recoup there for me, and I decided to pick that up, as well as two other games on the 3DS, which we might see eventually in this clip, but we'll fast forward to it for you. It's one of those rare cases that I've heard things about a game, and yet I still want to try it out. I think it's the art style that's drawing me in. Same reason I was drawn to Bravely Default. Um, did not like that gameplay. And spoilers, I do not like Legend of Legacy whatsoever. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to it. But at this point, I'm currently looking for my third game. Both Cubic Ninja and Legend of Legacy are $26 here. So I'm trying to find something to match up the price to get my recouping on and also basically get the games I want to keep for maybe $5 each. One odd thing that I've been obsessed with lately is watching Rainbow Six Siege gameplay videos on YouTube. Don't know why. Absolutely love it. Birth Defense Force game I've always wanted to try. Let's check out these boobies, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. But back on the Rainbow Six Siege, game is absolutely amazing from what I've seen, but I really don't want to reactivate PlayStation Plus just to play it. It is hot as a motherfucker in here, and I ain't got the fans going because it makes it sound like trash. But let's go over our pickups for this week in adventure and video game hunting. One week removed from too many games, and it's weird to be back garage sailing. I'll be honest with you, it feels like it's been forever since we did it. Between Stormville, between having our own tag sale, and between too many games itself, I feel like it's been a while. Plus there was a rainy weekend in there, it's been at least a month since I've done any garage sailing, and to be honest, with how it's going, it's not something I look forward to that much, just because it's so stressful and frustrating, going everywhere, spending your whole Saturday morning and not finding much. Fortunately, fortunately, we were rescued this weekend by another video game collector, who I'm often you know, cursing his name, looking at his finds on Facebook. 
luckily we went to his tag sale and saved our weekend but we'll get to that eventually uh, the first thing I found was actually at our usual flea market five dollars I got an original Game Boy with a missing screen and an unwillingness to work uh, the guy said as we heard in the video that he put batteries in it got it to work one time and now it's not working so I'm assuming it's the battery corrosion I'm gonna have to clean that out I haven't done it quite yet I really don't know what I want to do with this I know I can sell this for four times what I paid as is for like 20 bucks on eBay but I, I don't know if I want to put all the work in to get like a little bit more out of it because I was thinking like maybe I could have it be a project where I actually replace the screen for once because I know you can get the replacement screens but I don't know if that's something I really want to get into. It also came with this weird Game Boy bag that I've never seen before. It's really kind of dirty. Seems like the oldest possible thing in the world. Uh, cradles the Game Boy quite nicely and has pouches for games. But for five bucks, I had him keep the sports game that was in there because fuck it. If he's going to haggle over two dollars on that, he can keep that. Uh, well, I did get it to work. The sound is busted. And whatever game I'm testing this with, Street Racer, fucking sucks. I'm playing it by holding down A and not controlling it. I mean, I'm not doing well, but like the, the, the track just keeps going back and forth. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this game? But yeah, I was able to get it to work. Just no sound. And no screen. So... Might get a little more than twenty dollars. Might not. Still a good recouper since I only paid five bucks for it. Let's get to what I found at the other collector's garage sale. Hopefully, I did some decent filming there. For thirty dollars total, which is an absolute bro price if you look any of these up, but you won't have to because I'm going to provide you with some prices here. Uh, we got Brawl Brothers, which is the sequel to Rival Turf, which was my favorite beat-em-up on the Super Nintendo, aside from Turtles in Time. I say that because I had Rival Turf back in the day. I didn't have Turtles in Time when I was growing up. That was an arcade game I played. I might have rented it a few times. I think my friend up the street had it. We played it there. But Rival Turf was my game, so that was my favorite. Uh, Brawl Brothers, the sequel, not the best shape. Label has some damage and some peeling, but not bad. It goes for about $20, and like I said, I spent $30 on all these games. We got Qbert, which I've wanted to pick up since I watched uh, Pixels. I realized I didn't have Qbert, and I was just like, fuck, that's a crime. Let me pick that up. Uh, the NES games in particular, he only charged me like $3.33 each, which is not bad. Uh, when Monster Party goes for a little bit over $10. And I believe this one, which I've never heard of before, Puss in Boots, goes for around 10 to 15 So that was a crazy deal. And I believe this one goes for... This is a Dreamcast game that I've never heard of. Uh, but I looked at the back, and it looks kind of like Diablo. Like old school Diablo, Diablo 2. It's silver. Let me know if you know anything about this. I believe it goes for about $20, if not a little bit more. So, getting all these games from another, you know, collector slash reseller for 30 bucks, definitely not a bad deal at all. At the next sale, I fucked up a little bit, but I didn't know I was fucking up at the time, at least. Uh, I picked up one game. They had Dark Souls 2. Missing the manual if it ever came with one. Uh, said I could have this for $3. I also saw he had three boxes of Magic Cards. I'm not going to show them all because... They're all sh fucking trash, that's why I fucked up. Um, they're all actually from sets that I used to draft like four years ago. And if I wanted to go back to selling Magic Cards on eBay for like $2 a playset shipped, I could make my money back on them, but I'm honestly just going to give these away to somebody. Um, probably one of Sam's sons, I know he's into Magic. But I looked through them all, pulled out some cards that I thought might be worth something, and they're not. So, at this sale, for the three boxes of Magic Cards, with about this amount in there, uh, they charged me $10 for this in the game. So, technically, I spent 
effectively ten dollars on a Dark Souls 2. Because these magic cards are fucking worthless. Uh, the next sale we finally have a fucking Recooper that I can get behind. TI-83 Plus. Paid five dollars for it. Could have haggled. Probably should have haggled, but at five dollars there's still a lot of profit to be had should be able to get about 35 for this on ebay it's in really good shape always pick them up if you see them but if you're in connecticut you might want to just leave them for me that was it for saturday on sunday we went to the flea market found jack and shit oddly enough i decided to go around in the afternoon and take advantage of GameStop's buy two get one free something i haven't done in a while which is good for my wallet, but in this case, I found a recouper that is actually going to make this really good for my collection. Uh, as some of you may know, Cubic Ninja, useful for some people for hacking 3DSs. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that it makes this game expensive. So, this game, they sell it at GameStop for about $26. Uh, the other two games I got Legend of Legacy, which I've heard mediocre things about, but I'll give it a try. Also $26, and still for $31 after fucking, what, four years? When did this come out? Fire Emblem Awakening. Had it physical, had it digital on my original 3DS, and I have it again, because I've since traded it in. Um, looking forward to playing this, especially since I enjoyed Birthright so much want to go back to this give this another chance for all those after the buy two get one free it was about sixty dollars this goes for about 40 on ebay the latest sold one in this condition was 42.99 i believe so if it, you're about ten dollars each on the other 3ds games that's not that bad when you look at it that way let me know what you've picked up lately let me know if you were able to take advantage of the fourth of july uh, buy two get one free at GameStop. Let me know what you picked up from them. Let's switch it up a little bit. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.